Allah has given a beautiful surah in the Holy Quran. The one third of the Holy Quran. It's a beautiful gift for humankind. And it's also the definition of God. Allah has given us this surah as if we can justify any person or we can justify any person who claims God Allah has given a beautiful surah in the Holy Quran the surah is chapter 112 if you read this surah with meaning you will understand that in the whole un in the whole universe in the whole world all kind of idol is prohibited and allah is only one there's no one but him he is the only one there's n nothing equivalent to him he is the only one he has no partner he has no sharer he is only one allah is only one allah said Say, O Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah said, say, Qul, say, huwa Allah wahad. He is Allah who is one. He is Allah who is one, who is alone, without another, indivisible, with absolute and permanent unity, and distinct from all else, and distinct from all else. The one and only true deity, unique in his essence, attributes and deeds. Allah is alone, without another, indivisible, with absolute and permanent unity. Indivisible, with absolute and permanent unity. And distinct from all else, different from all else, the one and only true deity. Allah is the only one true deity. There is no other deity except Him. There is no other deity besides Him. Unique in His essence, attributes and deeds. The reason for the revelation of this surah has already been mentioned. The Jews said we worship Ujayar. The son of Allah, Nauzabillah. And the Christians said, <coughs> And the Christians said, We worship the Messiah, Isa, the son of Allah, Nauzabillah. The Zoroastrians said, We worship the sun and the moon. And the idolaters said, We worship idols. Allah said, Allah revealed to his messenger. Kul huwa Allah waha say he is Allah one. He is the one the singular who has no peer, no assistant, no rival, no equal and none comparable to him. This word Al Ahad cannot be used for anyone in affirmation except Allah the mighty and the majestic. Listen me carefully. This word, this word, Al-Ahad, cannot be used for anyone, cannot be used for anyone in affirmation. You cannot use this word, Ahad, for anyone in affirmation except Allah, the mighty and the majestic. Because he is perfect in all of his attributes and action. He is perfect in all his attributes and aspects, in uh, actions. What do you mean? Because Allah is the one, he doesn't require any helper, any assistance. Whatever he wants, he can do without any help, without any assistance. Concerning his saying, Allah said that, Allah who samad the second verse Allah who samad Allah the eternal refuge he who is absolute Allah is absolute perfect complete essential self-sufficient 
and sufficient to meet the needs of all creation. Allah is sufficient to fulfill the needs of all creation. The one eternally and constantly required and sought, depended upon by all existence, depended upon by all existent and to whom all matters will ultimately return to whom the, all the matters ultimately return and everything depend upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because and Allah is dependless Allah doesn't require to depend anyone to depend on anyone because everybody require Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everybody depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because if Allah gives them food Allah will get food if Allah doesn't give them food they won't get food this means the one who all of the creation depends upon for their needs and their requires the one who all of the creation the one who all of the creation depends upon for their needs and their requires he is the master who is perfect in his sovereignty, the most noble who is perfect in his nobility, the most magnificent who is perfect in his magnificence, the most forbearing who is perfect in his forbearance, the all-knowing who is perfect in his knowledge, and the most wise who is perfect in his wisdom. The most wise who is perfect in his wisdom. He is the one who is perfect in all aspects of nobility and authority. He is Allah, glory be unto him. These attributes are not befitting anyone than him, than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has no co-equal co and nothing is like him. Glory be to Allah, the one that irre irresistible. Al Amash reported from Shaki, who said that Abu Well said, As Samad is the master whose control is complete. Allah is above having children and procreating. Then Allah said, He neither begets nor is born. He begets not nor was he begotten. He begets not nor is begotten. Meaning, he does not have any child, parent, or spouse. It's mentioned in Suhi al-Bukhari, hadith number 7373. Narrated Mu'ad bin Jabal, radiallahu anhu, the Prophet said, O oh, Mu'ad, oh, do you know what Allah's right upon his slaves is? I said, Allah and his messenger know better. Allah and his messenger know better. The Prophet said to worship him alone and to join none in worship with him. Do you know what the right upon him is? I replied, Allah and his messenger know better. The Prophet said not to punish them if they did so. It's also mentioned in Sohi Bukhari, hadith number 7374. The next the next hadith narrated Abu Said al Qudr radiallahu anhu a man heard another man reciting say O Muhammad he is Allah the one and he recited it repeatedly when it was morning he went to the Prophet and informed him about that as if he considered that the recitation of the surah by itself was not enough Allah's messenger said by him in whose hand my soul is, it is equal to one third of the Quran. It is one third of the Quran. It's also mentioned in Sohi al Bukhari, hadith number 7375. The next hadith, Nated Aisha radiallahu anha, the Prophet sent an army unit under the command of a man who used to lead his companion in the prayer and would finish his recitation with Surah Ikhlas. Say, O Muhammad, he is Allah, the one. When they returned from the battle, they mentioned that to the Prophet. He said to them, ask him why he does so. 
They asked him and he said, I do so because it mentions the qualities of the most gracious and I love to recite it in my prayer. The Prophet said to them, tell him that Allah loves him. And <coughs> and the next verse is nor is there to him an equivalent nor is there to him an equivalent and there is none comparable to him Mujahid said and there is none comparable to him walam yakullahu kufan ahad this means he does not have a spouse this is as Allah says, He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How can He have children when He has no wife? He created all things. He owns everything and He created everything. So how can He have peer among His creation who can be equal to Him? Or a relatives who can resemble Him? Glorified, exalted and far removed is all from such a thing far removed is all from such a thing Allah said that Allah said Allah said in surah chapter 19 verse 88 to 95 Allah said and they say our Rahman has begotten a son indeed you have brought forth a terrible evil thing whereby the heavens are almost torn and the earth is split asunder and the mountain fall in ruins that they ascribe a son to a rahman that they ascribe a son to a rahman but it is not suitable for a rahman that he should beget a son there is none in the heavens and the earth but comes unto uh, Ar Rahman as a slave. Barely he knows each one of them and has counted them a full counting, and all of them will come to him alone on the day of resurrection. And Allah also says in Surah 20, chapter 21, verse 26 to 27 Ar Rahman has begotten a son. They say, Ar Rahman has begotten a son. Glory to him. They are but honored servants. They speak not until he has spoken and they act on his command. So Allah clearly said that Allah has no sharer. Allah the mighty and majestic says the son of the Adam denies me and he has no right to do so and the, and he abuses me and he has no right to do so in references in reference to his denial of me it is his saying he Allah will never recreate me like he created me before but the recreation of him is easier than his original original creation as for his cursing me it is his saying Allah has taken a son but I am the one the self-sufficient master I do not give birth nor was I born and there is no comparable to me this is the end of Surah Al-Ikhlas